Hello and welcome to Spurred On. I'm Rhys James, still in my hot spur blue, almost as if we film these videos on the same day. Now, here is an opinion that might not be popular amongst footballers. I love education, okay? I've got enough UCAS points to definitely get me in the Champions League, if that were a thing, which I'm suggesting it should be. Uh, so, I wanted to go through five things that we've learned this season as Spurs fans. Obviously, excluding the obvious, Harry Kane's great, Hugo Lloris is attractive, although that second one will come up. In at number five, uh, always bet on Spurs to win 2-1. I don't know if you saw the results this year, and this is not a verified statistic, but apparently 99.999% of all Spurs fixtures this season ended as 2-1. Okay, so if you'd put 10p on Spurs to win 2-1 on the first game of the season, then bet your winnings every time on Spurs to win 2-1 in the next game, you would now be Donald Trump, but with slightly better hair. Other bets you could have done this season is Spurs to win 2-1 from behind, uh, Ericsson to score the winner with an 89th minute free kick, and Fazio to be at fault for the goal. Number four, competition is good for Danny Rose. Uh, the Daily Mail have described Ben Davies as our biggest flop signing this season. No, 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 Daily Mail. Ben Davies is our best acquisition of all time. He has made Danny Rose into the player he is today. Before Ben Davies, Danny Rose was nothing. We were all shouting at him on the touchline saying, Danny Rose, get it sorted. Ben Davies comes in, now Danny Rose is most improved as an absolute superstar. They are a match made in heaven. Sonny and Cher, Posh and Bex, Ike and Tina, Fred and Rose, Danny Rose and Ben Davies, the perfect couple. Number three, Spurs are bit. Not like that, although some of them are. I'm looking at you, Hugo. Oh, what a guy. Spurs are incredibly energetic this season. We've got fitness levels like we've never had before. One day Ramos, years ago, said that we were fat McDonald's eating pigs or something. Uh, but Pochettino, he's got it sorted. We're not even going to Burger King. We're not even going to Wimpy anymore. We're all sorted, we're all fit, we're young, we're energetic, and that's how we're winning so many games in the last minute. And that's also how we've been able to play 56 games more than anyone else this season and still finish above pathetic Liverpool. Number two, I believe the children are the future. Bentaleb, Mason, Kane, Dyer. Next year, Dele Alli and Alex Pritchard. Kresh FC, Champions League. Number one, Woolwich Athletic cannot beat us, also known as Arsenal. We drew with them at their gaff, an easy draw that we wanted, we'll take a draw there, and we battered them 2-1 at our gaff. An absolute 2-1 drubbing. Unbelievable, Arsenal. You are pathetic. Another win from behind for Spurs. Classic Spurs. Uh, sure, they finished above us in the league, like they do every year, but they had to beat other teams to do it. So, good luck, guys. You're never going to beat us again. Ha! That's it forever now. North London is white, and I mean that in a purely footballing sense, okay? Don't have a go at me in the comments. All right, so that's my top five things that we learned this year as Spurs fans. If I've missed anything, let me know in the comments. Don't have a go at me for that white comment. Honestly, I'm a nice, I'm a nice guy. Uh, remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video if you liked it, follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV, and I'll see you soon. I am delighted to be having a chat with Darren Anderton at this time. Darren, welcome to the channel. 